Hey guys, this episode we're going to be talking about how to maintain a new ruby gem. So Derek Reimer uh, had posted on Twitter that he was looking for a new maintainer for Sequence. He hasn't done Rails for a few years and just needed um, to hand this off to somebody. My name come, came up and because this is very similar to a few things that I maintain already, might as well. Um, so I offered and he gave me access to the GitHub and the Ruby gems so we can make a new release and uh, maintain this. So first steps in this are kind of a few things that I wanna go through, do some housekeeping, check to see where everything is um, and go from there. So number one is what's the test suite like? Well, I noticed there's a um, Travis YAML, so it's running CI on Travis. This is good, but I would like to just organize it, put it all in GitHub. We can have GitHub Actions integrated nicely. And then the other important thing here is when I noticed uh, the Travis YAML file, we're not testing any recent versions of Ruby. So that's important for us to go and update as well. We can keep the tests against um, SQLite and Postgres as well, but we should update this to use GitHub Actions and then test later versions of Ruby. So 2.6 is already end of life, so really we only have to support 2.7, 3.0, and 3.1. Um, and if we did decide to drop that Ruby 2.4 support, um, we might cut another major release of Sequenced and just have that in the change log. Um, so that is something that we will take a look at and figure out, you know, We'll make a new release probably because we're going to go through and fix some of the issues um, in the pull request and whatnot. And um, so we want to just kind of get a state of the world, make sure that our tests are running. Um, we can start out by adding um, GitHub Actions and then test it against Ruby 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 3.0, and 3.1. 